In this video, I am going to show you how you can create Google Cloud functions with both generations, including generation 1 and generation 2. But before we start creating Google Cloud functions using Terraform, I would highly recommend you to go through the same steps using the Google Cloud Console as you will get the basic concepts and the structure. So without wasting time, let me start creating Google Cloud functions. But before that, you can see that I'm using Visual Studio Code and I have created cloud functions. And inside this folder, I have a main.tf, case.json and provider.tf, which I provided Google provider. And with the basic settings, you can see the project with my project ID. You can see the region and the zone and we have a credentials case.json and as you can see inside the main.tf there is nothing except from the steps that we are gonna go through and we have an index.zip that we are going to uh, download to the google cloud storage and i will show what kind of code inside this index.zip soon so you can see the steps that we are going to go through I'm going to, we are going to use the Terraform registry page and we will use these resource blocks. You can see that the Google Cloud storage, storage bucket and the storage object. And we will use the cloud functions and the cloud functions I am member for the first generation. And we will use step five and step four for the second generation. So without wasting time, let me create um, Google Cloud Storage Bucket. I don't want to waste a lot of time and I just want to copy and paste because it will take a, a bit time. So you can see I'm creating a Google Cloud Google Storage Bucket and I'm giving the name and here I give the name and I give the location. And here I will give the Google Storage Bucket. You can see I'm just writing the Google Storage Bucket object and the name. And here I'm giving the another name and I'm just specifying my bucket, this bucket. And also I'm giving the source index.zip, you can see here. And if you are wondering what kind of code inside this index zip, let me show it in my desktop. So you can see that I have an index zip inside uh, this zip file. I have an index.js and package.json. Let me open my index.js. You can see I have a basic code. Uh, with a hello world so I'm going to paste it in my in the comment section so you can get so we can see that we have done with the Google storage bucket an object now we can uh, we can just uh, terraform apply we can just run terraform apply but before that we need to comment this because uh, we need to first create uh, the storage bucket and then we have to upload the object right so for that i'm going to open my terminal and just say that cd uh, cloud functions and terraform init you can see that the, the official Terraform registry page, you can read more about Google storage bucket, Google storage object, uh, Google storage bucket object. So I don't want to waste a lot of time for that. Let's say Terraform plan. And then finally Terraform apply. Yes. Now we are creating a cloud storage bucket. I'm going to go to cloud storage and buckets. And we can see that found bucket TF is now creating. So let's now, it's, you can see the apply is complete. Now let's create the, the Google storage bucket object. I want to use this. Let's apply. We need to store the object. Yes. And let's go and check inside. 
you can see that we have a object that we have already uh, uploaded so let's continue with creating a cloud functions step three you can see google cloud google cloud functions function and here i'm going to um, upload my cloud functions so i don't want to waste a lot of time with writing the resource block i just copy paste uh, so we can understand it step by step you can see the resource google cloud functions function and i'm giving the name here is the name you can see the function func from tf and the runtime is not gs16 and i give description this is my first function from terraform script and available memory is 128 and source archive object you can see i'm specifying my google storage bucket with the name and i'm also specifying my uh, google storage bucket object so i'm also using the argument trigger http with a true and here i'm using the hello world entry point uh, let me show this here you can see the hello world entry point inside the code so you have to use this entry point and we are done uh, we, we, we need to allow the public access for this uh, google cloud function generation one for that i will use another google uh, resource block which is google cloud functions function i am member let me copy this and paste you can see uh, because if I don't copy and paste the code, it will take a lot of time. So you can pause the video and, and copy or I will share the GitHub repo. So you can see the Google Cloud Functions I am member. I'm giving the name, allow access TF. I'm specifying the region, Google Functions function, function uh, fun from TF dot region, and then Cloud Function, functions dot, uh, the name of the function, and then I'm specifying the name. And you can see here I'm allowing the, the roles cloud functions dot invoker and I'm, the member is all users. So this is all about for generation one. So basically we are creating a function and we are allowing the access. So let's apply. And let's do yes. And it's now creating a Google Cloud function, generation one. In generation two, you will see here the cloud functions two, right? In generation four, one, there is no anything like one or two. It's just cloud functions function. Also, one more thing, you might get an error if you don't give a role. You have to go to service accounts. You can have to go to IAM and admin and service accounts. And when you create a service account, you provide the, the case.json, right? Here you click the manage case and you will create a case and you will upload this case to your Terraform. So when you've done this, you have to provide the, some roles. First and foremost is here you can see the roles I provided, storage admin and the service account user. And I'm also providing cloud run admin and cloud functions admin. So please screenshot this and then provide these roles. Otherwise you will get an error. So let me check, it's still creating. So yeah, you have to provide these roles to your service account. You can see cloud functions admin, cloud run admin, pubs up admin. I guess I'm not using pubs up. Uh, so you don't have to provide the pubs up. So the it's, apply is complete. Now let's check our cloud function generation one. So I'm going to go to cloud functions and we'll check the URL. You can see that allow unauthenticated authentication. Let's click inside this generation one and then trigger and you can click this URL to check whether it's working or not. Yeah, you can see hello world from generation one is working. So let's now create our Google Cloud function two. Now let's continue with uh, the Google Cloud creating Google Cloud functions generation two. You can see we have two steps left, step five and step six. 
and you can we need to start uh, writing the resource block uh, for Google Cloud Functions function function and I'm gonna copy this and paste here and I will explain each you can see that we have a resource Google Cloud Functions to function and I'm giving the name function and here I'm also specifying the name and I'm in this here I'm specifying the location the US Central one and the description, this is my second generation function from Terraform script. And I'm using a build config. The, there is a slight difference between Google Cloud Functions first generation and second generation script. So be careful not to confuse. So you have to write the build config and runtime Node.js 16. Entry point is a hello world that I showed the, uh, here. You can see entry point is hello world. And the environment variables is build config test build test. I'm using the source block, and inside there is an object bucket and object. I'm again specifying Google storage bucket, my bucket with the, the name and my object with the name. And here I'm specifying the service config block. Inside you can see the minimum uh, instance count with one and maximum instance count is 10. Available memory is 256. Time, timeout seconds is 60. Allowed traffic on latest version is true, which means that all the traffic will be moved to the second generation. And now here we'll use the Google Cloud Run Service IAM Binding Resource block in order to allow public access for, uh, in order to allow unauthenticated invocation for generation two. For that, I'm going to copy the resource block and paste it here. You can see the, the resource block calls, call it is Google Cloud Run Service I'm binding. I'm giving the name, name default and the location, I'm providing the location, Google Cloud Functions to function, function and location and Google Cloud Functions to function and function name. And the role is basically the same. The role is run, roles.run.invoker and members is all users. So let's now go to the terminal and apply. Yes. It's now creating Google Cloud Functions second generation. So be careful not to forget to specify the role for service account. It should be cloud run admin. <clears throat> so it's now creating, let's refresh it. You can see the second generation is now creating. It's now authentication now. We need to wait a bit to complete the process. And then we'll go the inside of the second generation, check the URL, whether it's working like this and we didn't change the, the code to the generation two inside the generation two, the same code. So it will show the hello world from generation one in the second generation as well. So take it into consider consideration. Still creating, I guess. Yeah, still creating almost one minute. And I think it's finishing up. Yes, I think it's done. You can see. So the second generation and first generation and let's click the second generation and then check the URL, whether our second generation is working or not. Yeah, you can see it's also working. And as I say, it's the, the one as well, because it's the same code, with the generation one. So both of them are working. You can play around with it and check the permissions can see the, the permission and you can check the logs and you can also test from here by clicking you know the test so so this is all about it for this video once again uh, please don't forget to to provide the google service account roles here you have to go to i am an admin and service accounts and you need to go to iam here and you have to provide specific roles. 
especially you can see here my service account and I use my case.json here. You can see cloud functions admin required, cloud run admin required, PubSub is not required since we are not using any PubSub. Service account user is required and storage admin is required. So please use these roles. And once again, let me show my code. From the beginning, you can see that we are creating a Google storage bucket. And after that, we are uploading object, Google storage bucket object. We are uploading the code index.zip. And in the third step, we are just creating our first generation Google Cloud function. You can see, you can stop and copy everything or I will share the GitHub link, do not worry. So in the fourth step, we are just trying to giving, we are trying to allow the public access for generation one. And now in the, in the step five, we are creating Google Cloud Functions second generation. And you can see, and in the last step, uh, the, which is the step six, we are giving public access for Google Cloud Function second generation. So these are the steps that we, got, we that we have gone through. So I will share the GitHub repo and also you can also, if you want to create the Google Cloud Function using Google Cloud Console, you can refer to my previous video. So thank you very much and see you in the next videos.